Lesson 2.3e, Comparing Very Small Numbers in the Real World, Scientific Notation. So as we learned in the previous video, to compare very small numbers in scientific notation, the first thing we do is compare the powers of 10. Then we compare the multiplicands if they have the same power of 10. To find how many times greater one number is to another number, we can write them as a ratio from greatest to least. How many times greater is 40 than 5? We write them as a ratio from greatest to least. And this is a division problem, isn't it? We have 40 divided by 5, that's equal to 8. We know 40 is 8 times greater than 5. A transistor on a computer chip in 1971 had a diameter of about 1 times 10 raised to the negative fifth power meter. 40 years later, transistors have a diameter of about 2 times 10 raised to the negative eighth meter. How many times greater is the diameter of the earlier transistors than the later ones? So we need to compare 1 times 10 raised to the negative fifth and 2 times 10 raised to the negative eighth. The first thing we do is compare the powers of 10. We have a negative 5 compared to a negative 8. And negative 5 is closer to 0, so it's greater. Since negative 5 is greater than negative 8, we write our ratio with negative 5 as the exponent of the numerator over 10 raised to the negative 8. We do subtraction. We've got negative 5 minus negative 8. Remember, when we're subtracting a negative, we add the opposite. So we really have negative 5 plus 8, which gives us 10 raised to the third power. That's 10 times 10 times 10. That's equal to 1,000. And we write the ratio of 1 over 2, since this is the greater one with the negative 5. The 1 is going to be on top and the 2 is going to be on the bottom. That is 5 tenths. We multiply our 1,000 times this 5 tenths, and it's equal to 500. Now we know the earlier transistor is 500 times larger than the later transistor. We can also solve the problem by writing one ratio. We know that 10 raised to the negative fifth power is the greater number. We write it as the top scientific notation as the numerator, and this one as the denominator. One half, we know that's one half, and we do our subtraction and get 10 raised to the third power now we have 1 half times 10 raised to the third power. That's 1 half times 1,000, which is 1,000, divided by 2, which is 500 times greater. The thickness of a stop sign is about 2 times 10 raised to the negative second power meter. The thickness of an aluminum soda can is about 1 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the negative fourth meter. How many times greater? is the thickness of a stop sign than an aluminum soda can. We know raised to the negative second power is the greater number. Negative 2 is closer to 0 than negative 4. We can write it as one big ratio. We have 2 divided by 1.2. That gives us 1.67. We have subtraction here. We have negative 2 minus negative 4. We're going to add the opposite, so we get negative 2 plus 4, which gives us 10 raised to the second power. 10 raised to the second power is 100. It's 10 times 10. We have 1 and 67 hundredths times 100, which is equal to 167. The stop sign is about 167 times thicker than the aluminum soda can. The mass of a house sparrow can be up to 40 grams. The mass of an Andean condor can be up to 1 and 5 tenths times 10 raised to the 7th power milligrams. About how many times greater is the mass of the largest Andean condor to the mass of the largest house sparrow? Now notice they're given in different measures, grams and milligrams. First, convert them to the same units. 1 and 5 tenths times 10 raised to the 7th power would be 15 million milligrams. Now we have this written in standard notation. We can convert it to grams. Now back in fifth grade math lesson 10.5, we learned how to convert in metric for meters, liters, grams. 
We have 15 million milligrams. Here's milligrams. So we're going to hop one, two, three places to the left to get to grams. That means we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to be right here. That means 15 million milligrams is equal to 15,000 grams. Now we can compare the 40 gram house sparrow to the 15,000 gram Andean condor as a ratio from greatest to least. We write the 15,000 on top as the numerator, the 40 on the bottom is the denominator. We divide 15,000 by 40, and that's 375. So the largest Andean condor has a mass 375 times greater than the largest house sparrow. We're going to move on to lesson 2.4, and we're going to talk about adding and subtracting with scientific notation. I hope the rest of your day is enjoyable and I hope you join me for 2.4. Bye.